What's up guys, Hybrid Mongoose here, and welcome back to another video. Today's video, we are going to be talking about more of like an update, kind of, you know, what I've been working on, what I've grabbed recently, and, uh, you know, a couple things that are going on and, and what you can kind of expect in the future. I first have to say that, um, you know, I've been back doing YouTube you know, consistently now for a couple months, and I want to thank all you guys that have stayed subscribed, stayed, you know, waiting. I know a lot of you were from Pokemon Go community and all that stuff, and, you know, a uh, quick answer to that is uh, no, I'm not going to be doing Pokemon Go anymore. I do appreciate, you know, the fact that you want me to do that, but yeah, that's not something I'm going to be doing in the future. Um, so I'm going to be covering mostly video games. Mostly, mostly retro video games and sometimes, you know, vintage action figures and things like that. If you're, you know, hopefully you're on board for that. I, I, I assume you are since you're still watching this. <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah, that's that's the change coming. And, you know, we've also had a lot of new subscribers since then. So I'm going to say, what, you know, welcome and thank you for joining the channel. I really appreciate it. So you might be able to see behind me. I actually recently got a Sega Saturn. Now the Sega Saturn is one of those consoles. My, my biggest memory from having a Sega Saturn was actually from when uh, Media Play, if you remember the store Media Play, they used to have a kiosk. And I was a full PlayStation kid, okay? Like, I love PlayStation. That was my main, that was my jam, okay? So PlayStation was my main thing. So the Sega Saturn, I completely missed as a console because I used to play um, Virtual Fighter 2, and I, you know, I liked the game and it was fun. It's actually what's playing behind me right now. I was playing Tekken and, you know, playing all these other games, and I was like, Man, Tekken is so much better than <laughs> than uh, you know Virtual Fighter and and uh, a couple of the racing games were okay. I wasn't really into racing, you know, so I'm just like, you know, this console's okay, but it's not really for me. I don't think, you know, and and there's a lot of good games that are on, that is on the Sega Saturn that you know, like I said, just whew, completely missed me. So you know that that's one of the reasons why I had to get it. I'm gonna do a more in depth video on the Sega Saturn when I get a chance. Um, but yeah, you know, it's, it's honestly, there's, I have a Saru coming, which is like a, almost like an EverDrive, um, from, you know, AliExpress special, uh, and I'm waiting for that to come. Plus I need a SCART cable and a couple other things, but, uh, yeah, once I get all the stuff I need, it's going to be, it's going to be awesome. I'll do a more in depth video about the Sega Saturn and all of that. So with this Saturn, that basically fills up my entire SCART switcher over here, which the SCART switcher has uh, 10 in, three out. So I've, I've filled the SCART switch with all these consoles here. And uh, gotta say, it's it's awesome. It's awesome. There's not many consoles left that are, are kind of on my list that I need to get. So, you know, it's, I mean, I do like the Master System, the Sega Master System as well, but there's so many ways to play the Sega Master System games on the Genesis. Um, that it's like, it's kind of hard for me to justify a whole other system. Although I do think it is very cool. I do think it is very cool. Also recently got another Turbo Graphics 16 console over there. I'm actually going to end up selling that one. Um, so yeah, just, uh, just ended up getting that one from reselling and whatnot. I have, you know, of course my normal one here and then my PC engine there. I was originally going to pick that up for a friend, uh, but he decided to get a PC Engine, <laughs> like me, so kind of worked out. So I was like, yeah, get a PC Engine, but, you know, don't get that, I can just sell this one. So that's what I originally got it for, was to pick it up for a friend, but, you know, we decided anyway to get, I should, we both agreed I should probably grab it anyway just to, you know, resell it or whatever. So, yeah. I do plan on doing a more in-depth video about the top loader here and uh, basically why this is like my holy grail top loader. I do have nostalgia for the top loader even though it came out well after I had the original Nintendo. Actually, I had a friend who, who had one, so yeah, that goes into a whole story that I'll get into in a different video. This is something I haven't shown you guys as well. This is a hacked Wii U. Um, I also have a hacked Wii upstairs as well that I need to show you guys. I plan on doing videos for both and kind of going through, you know, what's the benefits of having a hacked Wii U or Wii. And yeah, there's a lot. The Wii that I have upstairs is backwards compatible uh, with the GameCube. So I kind of use it as a GameCube. Um, so yeah. And then right here is a box of goodies. This was a major score 
Um, I'm <laughs> again, this is just like an update video of like basically an NES haul. Um, and uh, I still have to test all these games, but you can see here real quick. I mean, these are some bangers. We got Mario 3, Mario 2, Zelda, uh, Wheel of Fortune. Everyone loves Wheel of Fortune, Tetris. Um, some of these I'm keeping, and then there's also the console. I haven't tested anything yet. The other games through here are Jaws, which I have a lot of nostalgia for, actually. I'll probably keep. Same with Tetris. Oh, Contra. Man, that is a really good one as well. Um, Jeopardy. Everyone's got Mario and Duck Hunt. We got Winter Games. And... Mario Duck Hunt again. <laughs> so I plan on going through cleaning all these games, testing them all, making sure and cleaning the NES consoles well. And if it doesn't work, I have a really good track record with actually fixing uh, NES consoles. There's only been like a couple that I haven't been successful. Um, so I'm, I'm excited to show you that process when it gets to that point. Like if it doesn't work, which I actually hope it doesn't. I can go through the process of what I do to fix it. So that'll be really cool. Uh, here is a bag of goodies that came with it. Some light guns that even have this, the, the Max, NES Max controller, which I've never actually tried to use, but it feels terrible. <laughs> Feels bad. I was also at a flea market recently and picked up these 90s uh, gaming magazines like Flux, ga Game Players, Power Station, you know, like, and these are a trip to go through. If you look through them, oh my gosh, there's so many old, like, like old games, all this other stuff. It's, it's really cool looking through this stuff. And I haven't done an update on this in a while. This is actually my office. Um, above my desk and I recently well not recently but I got that at at uh, power of the force so 1990s ish really awesome I don't cover the vintage action figures too much but I have a huge collection as you can see here <laughs> so you know if you want me to cover that more I definitely will I just been focusing mo mostly on retro games right now I already pre-ordered the rest um, but the, the Street Sharks 30th anniversary, which makes me feel super old, uh, the 30th anniversary uh, toys have come out, which those are the three right there. And uh, I'm not going to open them, <laughs> but I already pre-ordered the other three. And uh, those are the rest of my collection down there. There's, there's just so many. I need to kind of reorganize this. And uh, yeah. My most recent figure is actually this man thing. Uh, you know, I just like Man-Thing uh, as, a, as a superhero. It's more of a horror based, it's like obviously the knockoff of uh, Swamp Thing, but um, that movie was actually pretty good, The Werewolf by Night um, on Disney Plus. It's, it's rated R, uh, so it's a rated R Marvel movie that just kind of shadow dropped and I don't think a lot of people have watched it, but it's actually really good. Also mounted Crossfire on my wall in my office as well. I mean, who remembers Crossfire? That's, I thought that looked awesome. You know, you could still play it. You could easily take it off the wall and play it too. But uh, yeah, really cool. And last thing in the office that I want to show you, I'm actually planning on doing a short about this as well, but this is one of the more rare uh, garage sale found finds. I found this last year. And if you look close, it's the Doom 2 floppy disk installation. And there are five disks all right there <laughs> and you know i bought these like clear shells to kind of like stick it to the wall and then a doom 2 like like metal tin uh and you know i think it looks really cool i really like it it would be really cool to get a vintage computer and actually try to install this off the floppy disk um but yeah really cool find yeah finding this was like i was like wow that's awesome so guys, that is gonna do it for the video. If you like this style of video and you want more stuff like this, more just impromptu chill, not really scripted, just kinda showing you what I got, showing you what I'm doing, you know, let me know if you like this type of style. Uh, hit the like button down below and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. It's free and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.